the oval tool. The oval tool, much like the rectangle tool, is underneath the rectangle tool and it is very 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 similar to the rectangle tool in that it's a click, pull, let go gives you a fill and an outline. Of course you can remove one or the other. You can't remove both though. Control the stroke size um, and then we've got some interesting options here. Uh, we can change start and end angles. So if I were to do this Let's try one that's a little more attractive. Not so good, huh? Uh, but you get the idea. You can do pie charts and that sort of thing. Um, and again, if you s click from the center, if you want to click from the center outward, I'm just holding down the, um, the option key. Um, you can also do what, an inner radius to get a donut type looking thing. And if we hold down the shift key, we can do a perfect circle. So that in a nutshell is the simple oval. Now since that's so basic, let me cover this, let me release this, I mean, let's go on to what they call the primitives and I find it really odd that they call the first two the rectangle and oval and the second one's the primitive. Someday I'll understand this, but the primitive seems far more sophisticated. Now we've got the same um, elements in our in our menu here. But what's quite different is that we can change it on the fly. And what this means, yeah, a little Pac-Man action there, um, that we will be able to we would be able to animate this over time. Or if you were doing um, pie charts using this oval tool, you could make them actually interactive um, or you could make them transform you know, to do a really snappy sort of business presentation where, you know, last year's earnings, this year's earnings, <laughs> um, and you can control it from either angle. You can also do the donut and, ooh, you can do a combination of the, the inner radius as well as the start and end angle. Now, the, the only thing that's quite different about this is you'll notice it's got a line around it even if I um, come back to it. And that means that it is an object that we can't edit other than by using this tool. Whereas if I had an oval and I drew the regular oval, which still has a hole in it, when I click on it um, with my black arrow tool, which is a selection tool, whoops, well, that was interesting. I'm undoing that. I'm going to click this line. I can just, you know, remove pieces, parts, or whatever. Whereas this one, I cannot do it. It's more like a grouped shape and uh, if you break it apart you lose the ability to edit it. So this is a basic oval, primitive oval, backwards thinking to me but oh well. 